for watching Hot Ticket, your source for what's happening in Hampton Roads. I'm your host, Michelle Seeger. Due to the FCC's regulations on noise variation, I've been advised not to fangirl scream. But with the Arts Festival back for another season, I might have to plead extenuating circumstances. In the studio today, we have Scott Jackson. He's going to talk about the festival's cornerstone performance, the tattoo. Scott, what's a tattoo? That's a great question. <laughs> we were talking beforehand and I said when I first started working at the Arts Festival and they were doing a tattoo, I was a little embarrassed to say I didn't know what it was other than body ink, right. which this has nothing to do with. <laughs> it turns out tattoo is a word, it's a Dutch word, and it's a really simple word. It means taps off, tattoo. So for example, in the US we'd say last call. And back in the Netherlands when the English were always fighting the French and the Netherlands was right in the middle, there were always soldiers in, in the towns. and Lo and behold, soldiers like to go to bars back then, just like they do today. And if you wanted to get soldiers back to the base, you'd yell through town, tattoo, tattoo, which is a way of saying last call. But what that evolved into was this fantastic evening ceremony where they did a beat and retreat. They may have played their anthem. They did a lowering of the flag. So people from the town started to gather around. And the idea of a tattoo as this military spectacle became very popular in Europe and ultimately made its way to Canada. And now here we are. Or the stalwarts of the tattoo world in the United States. Yeah, I mean, because this is a big thing. This has become sort of the arts festival's anchor piece. It's really a unique event. What I like about it, many of the artists we, we present who are world-class artists, they come with their own show ready to go. So mm -hmm. they can perform here and they might perform somewhere else. The tattoo only happens here in Hampton Roads. We create it from the ground up. Every note, every step taken, every minute of the show we create here and Hampton Roads to really create a Virginia tattoo, a fantastic show. And you know, some of the things I always tell people, here's what you'll see at the tattoo. One, we're unabashedly patriotic. And you mentioned you'd served in the Air Force. And thank you for your service. Um, every branch of the service is represented. You'll get to see fantastic music from the military, drill teams, precision, a Marine firing party. You will flat out get to see the, our best and finest right on display. Also, it's a great event for families. I always tell people my mom and dad live in California and my boys who, who are here who are teenagers, they all love to come. And there's mm -hmm. really only two times in my family's life that everybody's <laughs> happy. It's Christmas and the tattoo. Nice. It's really a family event. Um, so we make sure there's things that people of all ages will enjoy. And finally, you'll see something that tattoo you would have never seen before. In fact, you'll see something that was on your bucket list, you just didn't know it was there. Right. So for example, this year, there's a band from the Netherlands that rides bicycles. And it turns out around <laughs> World War I, the Netherlands was such a small, flat country, their idea of a cavalry was bicycles. Nice. So they actually created <laughs> instruments that you could basically wear, and you have one hand to, to drive your bike and one hand to play. So this band will come out in a formal march on their bicycles and play. Nice. Hilarious, great stuff, kids yeah. love it. Um, we have a pipe and drum group from Jordan. Jordan's one of our great allies in the Middle East and dating again back to World War I and the English um, occupation there in that part of the world, they have a pipe and drum tradition. So you'll hear pipes and drums played but with a totally different style and a totally different costume. And then one of the highlights of the show, we have a drum line from Switzerland called Top Secret. And they combine this incredible Swiss drumming called Basel drumming with good old fashioned American halftime show drumming. They've actually performed for more than a billion people. They are the most watched drumline in the world. This is their first time ever to the U.S., so we'll be a fantastic part of our cast. All, all told, we'll have more than 1,500 people from eight countries performing for the audience. I cannot imagine the choreography. And you guys have been doing this for 20 years now. That's right. It's our 20th season, and one of the things we're really happy about is in our 20th, we decided to celebrate our 20 years, but also to honor 20 years of the U.S. military and what... Uh, great job they've done in trying times. So I was privileged last week to meet General Colin Powell. He will actually be leading our tribute. He's doing a narration and a video for us. Joe Galloway, who is the great Vietnam reporter, wrote the script for him. And collectively, I call them our dream team. Yeah. Two of our great Americans that are going to help us honor 20 years of service and sacrifice. And several years ago when we honored Vietnam veterans, Joe Galloway helped us out. That's how we got to know him. Several people said to me, this was terrific, but you waited 50 years. Do we have to wait 50 years for our people? And no, now's the, now's the best time. So I'm going to need everybody to go get your tickets. I know I'll be getting mine, bafest.org. You can see everyone who's participating and all the events in the Arts Fest. For Hot Ticket, I'm Michelle Seeger. <laughs> <laughs>